Okay, we're taking a look at Pinball Fantasies, which is one of two pinball games for the Atari Jaguar. Pinball Fantasies is obviously a pinball video game for the Atari Jaguar. You start with an intermission sequence where you get some interesting soundtracks, and you have a choice between four pinball tables. Number one is Party Land. Number two is Speed Devil. Number three is Billion Dollar. Number four is Stones and Bones. And you select the tables by pressing the numbers one through four on the keypad. Okay, I will review these in order. First, let's look at Party Land. Okay, you can see right off it's very colorful and it's basically a virtual pinball table. You have carnival music playing and you have a ball and your objective is to hit things to get points, obviously. Now, some of the sound effects are a bit of a letdown. I wish there were more things to hit. But it's an okay table. Okay, let's take a look at Speed Devil. Okay, the table has a different layout and different color scheme, as well as a more rock techno soundtrack. Again, however, not much to hit your ball with. And the sound effects are again a letdown. Alright, the billion dollar table. Okay, again, a new layout, as well as a new color scheme, and I like the soundtrack for this, it's very enjoyable. As well, I like when the ball goes down these tubes. There are special sound effects. This table is more enjoyable and the sound effects are a bit better. Alright, time to look at the final and arguably the best table in the game. Which is my personal favorite, Stones and Bones. You can tell right away this pinball table is dedicated to a Halloween theme. From the excellent Halloween theme music as well as the Halloween graphics, overall this is a good pinball table and there is more to hit, but again I'm still disappointed by the sound effects. Pinball Fantasies is a pretty good game. The game is basically designed to be a virtual pinball simulator and it is, because a real pinball table can do these layouts. Graphically it is very colorful, but you need to remember, this is a simulated pinball table. So there are limitations, and a friend of mine said he thought Sonic Spinball looked better. And I have to say to a degree, I do agree with him, but you have to remember Sonic Spinball was designed to be a video pinball game, which is different, and they were able to add things that a normal pinball table could never do. Plus, look at Sonic's crystal clear sharp animation. I believe they were using early high definition coding in the game engine. In the end, as a virtual pinball simulator, this game looks really good. The only areas of complaint is while the mechanics generally work, including the spring that launches the ball, but it is too easy for the ball to go between the flippers and you lose a life. And I have played real pinball machines and while this can happen, generally not this easily. The music is really good, but you don't really hear anything much when you hit objects, and that's a letdown. Ultimately, this is a good game for the Atari Jaguar, and I'm giving it a B+. It would be an A+, but between some of the mechanics and weak sound effects, I just can't. I had a great time with the game, and I liked the variety of tables, and I played this for an hour straight, easily, and I recommend it to any Atari Jaguar owner. Okay, let's take a look at a real racing title. Super Burnout. Super Burnout is an excellent racing game for the Atari Jaguar, and believe it or not, Super Burnout was developed by a couple college students on the weekends. Now, Super Burnout has a lot of variety from eight different tracks, as well as several different bikes with different capabilities. Now, the tracks do vary, like the American track you'll start in the day, but it will be dark by the time you finish. 
We race eight different tracks in eight different countries, and each track is different, but each track has super sharp turns, and you need to be very fast, or you'll smash into the wall, but with certain bikes like the gold one, which I'm using, it's easy not to, but with others, you'll smash into the wall super easily, if you're not fast enough. Also, be aware, if you hit another racer, you can wipe out, and I like the wipeout animations, they're very cool. The music is really well done, and I like the sound effects. The best part about this game is it is multiplayer. Yes, you can play with a friend, and it's fun. But the only complaint is the bikes in the two-player mode are too big. It's not major, but it would have been better if they were smaller. Some complain the graphics aren't good enough, but it's debatable. The racers and bikes look really good. Also, I like the backgrounds. A lot of color is used. Some say there are too many of the same trees, but I'm a trained horticulturalist. And if you look at them closely, there are different forms and different shapes, and some cover changes. All in all, it's really good. But yes, in comparison to Road Rash, on the 3DO, it has multiple terrains, including cities, but that's a different style game. All of Super Burnout's tracks are in the countryside, but I like the visuals, they are very colorful. In the end, I'm giving this game an A. I would give it an A+, if there was more complexity to the tracks, but the game is very fun. It sounds good, it looks good, and it has a fast frame rate, as well as spot-on controls in its multiplayer. What more could you want from a good racing game? If you're looking for a solid racing game on the Jaguar, Super Burnout is definitely it. Okay guys, we're taking a look at Flip Out. Flip Out is basically, well, a puzzle game. The objective is to line the covered squares in their correct position, and if you mess up, you get splat. Honestly, the game is really simple. As you progress to the next stage, the puzzle gets more challenging and has more colors. And that's about it. The graphics are fine and the sound's okay, but this game is not for everyone. However, if you're trying to teach your mind problem-solving skills, then this game is for you. Ultimately, it's an okay game, and it's even intriguing, but it's just a puzzle game, and nothing more. I am giving this game a C. There's nothing really wrong with it, and I like puzzle games. I would give it a B if it had entertaining music like Tempest 2000. If you like puzzle games, then Flip Out is for you, and I think this game's okay. Okay, let's take a look at the most colorful graphical game for the Atari Jaguar, Rayman. Rayman is a 2D side-scroller, and you're playing as a man named Rayman, who interestingly enough only has a head, body, hands and feet, but looks really cool. You start with no weapons, and you just need to avoid the enemies and get to the end of the stage. But you will get weapons later, and you will have to repeat levels to complete your objective. It is very easy to lose a life, but you collect blue orbs to get extra lives. There are also bonus games where you can collect extra orbs. As you can see, the graphics are outstanding and really show off what the Atari Jaguar can do. The levels are very colorful and full of animation and the enemies look really good. I like the music and sound effects, but while I don't have the Saturn or PlayStation ports, the sound is better on those ports. But graphically, all three ports are very close in graphics, but I'd say the Atari Jaguar and Sega Saturn ports are stronger graphically over the PlayStation port. Now this game is very challenging and there is a reason for it. UBI Software, who created this game, in a rush to make the game's release date, 
never had time to playtest the game, so that's why this game is so challenging. In the end, I'm giving Rayman an A. It would be an A+, but the controls, while I think they're good, do take time to get used to, and I am only 23% way through the game, and it is very challenging. Rayman is a very good title despite its flaws, and does showcase the Jaguar's potential, so it is definitely worth picking up. Tune in next time as we take a look at more Atari Jaguar titles. This is the Entertainment Wizard, signing off.